What's up guys and welcome back to another video. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video where today we're gonna be upgrading a whole brake system. So if you guys watched my previous video, this is pretty much a continuation from that one. We're gonna start off with, oh man, we did get our brake shield painted uh, as best as we could. I mean, like they say, it was worse. Peor estaba. It's a crappy paint job, but at least better than it was. So we'll start off with this. <coughs> and then we'll get our brake rotors, push our bearings in, get our brake pads ready. Bada bing, bada boom. Go ahead and tighten these. All right, let's get our brake rotors. Gotta grease this area up. Let's get everything ready and prepped. What up? Good. <laughs> I am. Are you guys getting started already or what? I do smell something. I do be smelling something. Alright, we're gonna pack. Try on this big one first. Yeah, this big one first is gonna be packed. So we're gonna be using this packing tool right here. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want one of these. That's a normal packing tool. Bada bing. Wait, did it go the other way? Yeah, you're right. I think it goes this way. There we go. All right, guys. I guess it's always better to have more than less. You know? Always better to have more than less. So we're gonna put this in here. Alright. We'll put the excess on here. So we don't waste any. You know? The more the merrier. Alright. So then we're gonna put our oh man. Oh man. Ripping our gloves over here. We're gonna go ahead and put our seal. Which is, where is our seal? Where is, oh here it is. I don't think, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's a way of putting this. I think it's pretty much the same thing both ways. So just make sure to put it on there. Nice and evenly. I do have to run to the store though because I don't have I do have the nut but it for some reason this truck didn't come with the the washer so it's a bummer so I'm not gonna be able to put this one on until I go to AutoZone real quick get the washer with the nut spin it on there put the brake rotor on caliper on brake pads on tighten that and then we have our our brake line but I do need to run to AutoZone, unfortunately. All right, guys, we're back. Where did I leave that bolt thing, though? Man, did I leave it inside the house? Anyways, we have to do the next. We need to press our next bearings here. And get them all lubed up. Before we finish this installation here. Oh, like I told you guys, I'm not feeling too well, so I'm literally gonna do this one here and then I'm gonna take a little break and finish this tomorrow. You guys won't notice a difference because I'm just gonna cut. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. 
By the way, the racers are already installed in these uh, rotors. This is the company I bought them from, the Little Shop Manufacturing. They're also going to be the people I buy my rear disc conversion from. So hopefully hit me up. Hit me up, Little Shop Manufacturing, for uh, so that I can uh, get a sponsorship with you guys. All right, we're going to press this. <sighs> It's not going through. Am I doing it the wrong way? Mm. Am I doing it the wrong way? Mm, what the hell? Maybe it's too much already. <coughs> I put the bearing on wrong. Let's try to flip this around. No, I think you did it right. I think you did it right. <clears throat> Some people like the old school method of using your glove. All right, let's put the excess on here. All right, guys, if you guys are looking for the part number, it's 05145. And this is a little washer that I need. I have the nut from the old one, but I didn't have that. Let's put this on. All right, guys. Be careful here. Not to mess up your bearings. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this bearing on. <clears throat> there we go. All right. And then, I'm going to put this one. This little washer. And there's like a little indentation there where it goes there all right and then we're gonna put our nut and then we have to do the what is it called preload or whatever <clears throat> compress it all together I'm going through gloves like nothing My dad's in the. My dad's over here watching a video from the rancho where we went. So I don't know if that's the noise you guys can hear. All right, so we're just gonna spin this so we kind of get it a little bit compressed in here. <clears throat> See, that's too tight. It's too tight. So we're gonna loosen it up a little bit now. Where's the cotter pin hole? Right there. Maybe right there. All right, I think that's good right there. All right. <clears throat> Let's put our cotter pin in. Cutter pin in. All right. And this one we'll put it to the side. All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and install our calipers now. Alright guys, nicely painted new calipers. These are brand new, as you guys can see, that's the old ones. I think those were seized, because this thing was not breaking at all. <clears throat> so, put it like that, bada bing bada boom. Like that. Now we need to go ahead and lube up our hardware. So I'm gonna start off with some of this brake and caliper grease. So I'm gonna put a little, just a little bit here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to or not, but I think it'll help with the noise. Just put a little bit on the inside here, and a little bit on the inside here. So I'm gonna be putting these little sleeves in first before putting it inside. 
before installing it. Here we go. So actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lube these up too. So I'm gonna put here a little bit of lube, you know, put them through there. This one too, help them slide in, you know. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so then, so I'm gonna push these in. All right, let's move on to the brake pads. Should be pretty easy to install these brake pads. Easier than on most cars, if I might say so myself. All it is is this little part here goes into here, like that. <clears throat> Just like that. There's only one way it goes. There we go. And then this part, hmm, where's the top of it? <clears throat> where's the top? There it is, the top. So I'm gonna put this on like this. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Four C's in here. You have to click in place. There you go. Clicked in place. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Now, I'll put these on right here, right here. Just like this. Right. Right. What's, what's, what's the hold up here? What's the hold up here? Was that it? Right? Yeah. All right. Now, put some thread locker on these and let's lube these up too. And some thread locker. Oh, I'm all shaky, man. I gotta stop. I'm tired already. Oh my god. Let's turn this whole caliper. Get more access back here. All right. Locker. All right, guys, I don't know what the torque specs for these. I think it's around 40. I made the mistake of following. That's the only bad thing I want to say about IHC. On their instructions, they say 110 pounds of torque this thing needs i tried that on the other side and i broke a bolt and i took like oh my god like three hours i'm trying to remove the caliper to take the bolt out and to extract it so don't do the same thing that i did i'm gonna i put a uh, loctite on them and i'm gonna torque these by hand as tight as i can without a torque wrench i want to say it's gonna be like like right around maybe 40 foot pounds Maybe 80. No, no, not 110 though. I'll tell you that. Yeah, see? I'll come back and retorque these after I drive it like a good 100 miles. But there we have it. All right. Last thing. Last thing. And then, oh, we don't need these. This came with a new banjo bolt. 
Let's find the direction for this. I'm gonna be putting it somewhere around like that. So then this has to go up like that. All right. Uh, let's see again. Yeah, upwards. Somewhere like that. Oh, it's not a 12. Like an 11. I'm pretty sure it's not metric. All right. All right, guys. This is going to be probably zip tight around here. And then right in there, this part is really hard to remove. This side, righty tighty. So this one has to go up and this one has to go down. And I think that's a 14. <clears throat> All right. All right. All right, that was easy. On the other side, I struggled a lot. Oh my God. He's really stuck. Over here. Over here, fam. What you need? You wanna? Support you. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Oh my god, you have blood on your hands. Do I? Why do you have blood gloves? Do I? Yeah. I think it's I don't think it's blood. Oh no! I forgot to take that off. Oh no! Forgot to take the clip off. Oh my god! Oh my god! I forgot to take this off, guys. Oh, I have to take that clip off. All right. God. All right, guys. This is a hassle. All right. Let's take this out. In goes a new, a new one. We gotta be pretty quick. All right. There we go. You wanna help me? What? Clean up. Cleaning? Yeah. Not really. Just say that then. Just be straight up and say no, I don't want to help you. I think that really translates into no. You know? You know what I mean, bro? Is fake energy good? It's alright. Is it better than Red Bull? Um taste wise, no. I guess it's healthier. No, it's healthier because it has no sugars. <laughs> you're, that means you're not trying to get any or what? Yeah. Why? You feel like you had a lot? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right, guys. We can use some brake clean to clean all this stuff here. But we got it all done. We're just gonna install our little clip. Put our clip in here. And then zip tie this to that upper control arm. So this kit did come with the little clip. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Little clip. And that just goes right there. I'm gonna smack it in. Smack it in. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Alright. That probably goes the other way. Looks like it goes the other way. Whatever. It's just there to hold the line though. Alright guys. Let me know what you guys think. All I need is to do the tie rod, but I'm, like I said, I'm gonna do that till tomorrow. I don't feel so good. 
But other than that, we can throw this away. Alrighty, and uh, what do you think, Mel Mel Melo? Do you like it? Do you like it? That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. Stay tuned for the other videos. We're gonna be doing the rear end, I believe, in the next video, so stay tuned for those. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.